Hello, everybody. This is Mr. LP, Steven Sykes of Live and Global Media. And I'm here with the head of the Warriors basketball team, and I'm here with one of the great players, Mr. Aaron Barrett. How you doing today? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm doing all right. What are you looking forward to today's game? I'm looking forward to getting a win. Yeah, yeah. So I'm looking for great performance from the team, good team ball, and just getting a win, doing what we got to do. So what position you play in? Point guard? I play power, <laughs> <laughs> power forward, power forward in the center. Now, uh, Bravo. So what uh, what do you do during the daytime besides playing basketball? Um, well, I work out a little bit, and I also have a job I do. So. What type of work do you do, sir? Mm -hmm. I'm an electrician. How did you feel playing basketball and electrician? What type of change in that mentality and the focus that this game helps you and vice versa? Oh, well, I was a basketball player first. I mean, I played high school, college. I played a little bit overseas in Europe. So, I, I mean, I was a basketball player first. And I just made the transition to being an electrician, mm -hmm. something to do, like, on the side. But, you know, I've always been a basketball player. So it's, it's like riding a bike. I don't forget how to do that. Amen. How does it feel playing overseas and here and all throughout the world? You know, playing overseas is a great experience. I played over in Spain and in Germany and Eastern Europe in a country called Latvia. And I played in Guatemala. So I've been around a little bit. It was a great experience. What type of life experience did that bring to you in comparison to what's here in the U.S.? Uh, it was, uh, you know, different cultures, different food, you know, different people. But, I mean, it's love everywhere. It's love all over the world. So it really wasn't that much of a difference other than, you know, being around foreigners. Well, well in their countries, I was a foreigner. But, you know, <laughs> I mean, it really wasn't that big of a difference. But it was a great experience. What part of the game now that you see, uh, you still being a young man versus what it was back then and growing up now, what part of the game that's changed that's getting used to? Uh, I mean, it's not really much of a change. I mean, it's still fast paced. It's still team ball. You know, it's just, you know, dealing with different people. You know, you have different characteristics, different behaviors and things like that. But, I mean, it's all the same. Basketball is basketball. Is your fam are you originally from this area? Is your family around? Yeah, I'm from Virginia Beach. Oh, so lifelong 757. Yeah, definitely. 757 all day. Uh, how old are you, young man? I'm 28. So in the 28 years from when you started and you've been doing this in life, how has basketball changed 757? Um, well, competition has always grown. You know, competition has gotten better. You know, we had a lot of big names come out of the area, a lot of good players. I mean, but it's, like I said, it's not really, I haven't really seen much of a change. It's still all the same to me, you know. I've been around for a long time. So. The youth in the area is growing, and they see in a lot of different veins with basketball. What are, some, what are some of the type of things you're trying to show them or the message that you're trying to give to the youth today? Um, but more importantly, like basketball is a team sport. You can't be one person on a team trying to do it all by yourself. It has to be a team effort, you know. So that's one thing I try to show. I go out there. I got do. I do what I got to do. If I gotta get rebounds one night, I do that. If I gotta score, I do that. Play defense, whatever it takes. It's all about being the team. What are, uh, besides going out there and getting a championship? I know we're going to play also in a couple of weeks. What are some of your goals, personal goals, throughout this year? Well, I haven't played overseas in about maybe two years, so I'm out here trying to prove to myself that I still got it. I'm not an old man just yet. <laughs> you know, I'm only 28, but you got to get you it know, going. Yeah, two years off, that's still a long time in the basketball world. So but I'm just I'm proving to myself I still got it, and I still got it. So I think I look pretty good. Amen. I thank you very much for your time. How can people follow you and everything on social media and keep up with you? Well, you can follow me on Instagram, uh, Destin ADB. That's Destin, like Destin for greatness. Destin underscore ADB. That's my initials. That's Instagram. Then Facebook, Aaron Brackett. So. One last good question. What's your workout routine every day to try to stay in shape and stay healthy? Well, I eat right. Uh, I run. I might run a, a lap around the track at a high school, maybe two laps. I'm not going to the gym for about 40 minutes, hit the weights. What are you eating to stay in shape? Because a lot of people, when they get to 28 and your size, they not start gaining the weight in the wrong areas. <laughs> what are you? What are you? What are you eating to stay healthy? Well, I love oatmeal. Uh, definitely got to eat your fruits and vegetables. I try to eat a lot of fish and chicken. You know, try to lay off the sugar. You know, you know, basic things. You know, drink a lot of water. Stay hydrated. Amen. I thank you very much for your time, man. You have a blessed day and good game today, man. You too.